The investigation continues after three cabins went up in flames in Sevier County. Yeah, so take a look at some of these images. Okay, so first responders had to rush to the scene along Windy Lane overnight after the call came in, or Windy Lane rather, came in for a cabin fire. And we're told the fire then quickly spread to two other cabins. Now today, WATE 6 on your side reporter Kristen Gallant was in Pigeon Forge. She spoke to fire crews and those who watched the fires from their own front porch. I'm in the driveway of what used to be three rental cabins side by side. As you can see, those are completely gone after this fire. We heard a big boom. It kind of sounded like rocks were falling. We weren't sure exactly what happened. And then suddenly the sky just turned red. According to Pigeon Forge Fire Department's Deputy Fire Chief Charles Powers, those big booms could have been from propane tanks. When his crews got to the scene, one home was fully engulfed and the one next to it was also on fire. There was uh, propane tanks between the cabins and while our firefighters were on scene, they said the propane tanks did explode, so which would contribute in the fire spread. Isabella Sanchez is from Ohio and is staying in a cabin close by with family and friends. We saw every emergency vehicle that they had going. We saw all pass by. It was very close. Um, for a minute, we couldn't see anything just because the fog is so dense. We could definitely see that it was all red and like the light or the sky was very orange and whatnot. She said it was hard to sleep last night. They were watching fire crews work throughout the night, concerned the fire could spread to their cabin. But we did not go to bed until we could see that the sky was no longer red. And just because we were so worried for um, everyone that was involved. Power said the closest fire hydrant was about a half a mile away. So they had to use tanker shuttles to haul water to the fire. The current weather conditions helped the fire not to spread any further. The rain lately actually probably helped a little bit just because uh, Walker Trail in that area sometimes can get really dry from brush fires and stuff. So we didn't have to worry about brush fire just because of the rain we had had recently. Again, fire crews aren't sure how this fire started exactly. That is still under investigation. Reporting in Pigeon Forge, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. Kristen, thank you. And we want to point out those cabin fire is not the only thing keeping Sevier County firefighters busy today. Yeah, so a few hours later, around 6.30, firefighters found themselves on the scene of a house fire and an RV fire along Mill Creek Road. No injuries were reported, and the cause remains under investigation tonight here as well.